Is the lion really the king of the jungle? If you think this big cat is only famous for its loud roar, then you still have a lot to learn about it. Lions are among the most complex predators in the animal kingdom. Social, intelligent, strategic, and incredibly fearsome. Unlike most big cats that live solitary lives, lions are highly social animals. They live in groups called prides, typically made of several lionesses, their cubs, and one or two adult males. The dominant male is at the top of the pride, but contrary to popular belief, he is not an absolute king. In fact, the lionesses are the heart and brain of the pride. They are responsible for raising the cubs, hunting, and managing the day-to-day -day life of the group. The male lion acts more as a protector. His job is to defend the pride and its territory from intruders and rival males. Because when a new male tries to take over the pride, something tragic often happens. If you've been with me this far, I'm sure you'll enjoy the rest of the video too. Subscribe and stay with me. One of the strangest and most heartbreaking behaviors in lions is a phenomenon known as infanticide. When a new male takes over a pride, the first thing he often does is kill all the cubs that aren't his. But why does he do this? Because as long as a female lion has cubs, she is not in a reproductive cycle and is unable to become fertile. By eliminating the cubs, the new male forces the lionesses to become fertile again, so he can pass on his own genes. From a biological standpoint, it's a survival strategy. But from a human perspective, it's one of the darkest and most brutal aspects of lion life. The most obvious difference between male and female lions is the male lion's thick and magnificent mane, a feature that a female lacks. Lionesses are usually faster and more agile, and do most of the pride's hunting. In fact, most successful hunts are led by the females, who work together using coordinated group strategies. Male lions are generally larger, stronger, and heavier, and they are built for defense and dominance. Their mane serves not only as a display of strength and health, but also to attract females and intimidate competitors. And it also protects the neck and throat from attacks during fights. Lion hunting is a coordinated group operation, and contrary to popular belief, they are not solitary hunters. Lionesses usually hunt in teams, some of them lay prey into ambush from the front, while others ambush from behind to surround the prey. Their main prey includes large animals like zebras, buffaloes, antelope, and even giraffes. However, lions are not always successful hunters. Their success rate is around 20 to 30 percent. A lion's roar is not just a loud sound, it's a powerful tool for communication and dominance. A lion's roar can be heard from up to 8 kilometers away. It's a warning to rivals and other animals. This is my territory, stay away. Interestingly, every lion has a unique roar, and scientists have been able to identify individuals within the pride just by analyzing these vocalizations. This shows the intelligence and social complexity of lions. Lions are not just symbols of strength and royalty, they are a fascinating blend of intelligence and teamwork. From their complex social structure and strategic group hunts to the darker behaviors like infanticide, everything about lions shows that their kingship is not just about brute force or loud roars. It's about evolutionary adaptation, survival strategies, and natural leadership. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and tell me what animal world you would like us to travel to next time.